What's up Video Fort Nation? This is Video Fort Ruan with another awesome Video Fort tutorial. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import the CG helicopter into our scene and also just to position that object. And then we're also going to be looking at how to link the materials and just make sure that they're linking to the correct path on our computer. So first of all, make sure that you've got your uh, project open in 3ds Max. And then before we start, make sure that you uncompressed your 3D model .zip that came with the 4.1 project files. And then once you unzip that, if you go into that folder, you'll see there's a folder called helicopter. Inside that you'll have a helicopter with helpers.fbx. And then you've also got the materials folder that we will link in 3ds Max. So first of all, once you have your scene open, I'm just going to drag this FBX file, just click and drag and just position it over your camera window, release, and then we're going to select import file. Okay, once you've done that, you can just move your mouse around and you'll see that the helicopter will actually appear and just move it around and you can position it anywhere for now. We'll actually just fine tune that in a few moments. So let's just put it somewhere around here and I'm just going to click once and that's going to drop it in. Okay, next I'm just going to click somewhere in my scene to deselect it and then we're just going to double check that the materials are actually linking correctly. So to do that, click on this button here at the top left and then go down to references and then click on asset tracking. Okay, once that's open, click on the refresh button, this one here on the side and this will actually just refresh this window and it will show you all the materials for this helicopter. Okay, now because I'm using a specific drive and a specific folder for uh, these materials, um, this might actually not link correctly on your site. So what you need to do is, let's take the first one, which is fuse.png. And this one might actually say that the material is missing or that there's a problem with this uh, material. So as you can see, mine is actually linking fine, but let's say that one is not linking fine on your side. You're just gonna right click on that and then you're gonna go to set path and then this window will pop up and you're going to click on this little browse button these three dots and then all you need to do is you need to browse to your 3d model folder and go into the helicopter folder and then go into the materials folder and then just click on use path here at the bottom and then click ok okay that should then update that material for you and you need to do that for all these materials so in total there should be five materials uh, let's just do one more so let's say this one is not linking correctly right click on it go to set path click on the browse button here and then just make sure you browse to your materials folder under your 3d model so helicopter materials and just inside this folder you don't have to click any of these files and then you just click on use path and then okay and that should link it so just go through all these make sure they're all linked up and then you can close this Okay, so that's basically um, how you import and how you link it. So now we're just going to try and position our helicopter in the area that we would like it to be. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to try and hide all these tracking markers. You'll see all these little X's just all over the place. The reason we're going to hide them is when we try and select all the different parts of the helicopter, those little markers might get in the way. So we might actually select them and we don't really need them anymore. So I'm going to show you a very easy way to select them all and then to hide them. So let's just zoom in here a little bit to one of these X's and let's just select a few of them, those, those three. And then you right click on them and then go to select similar. And this will actually select all similar geometry in your scene, which are all these tracking markers. And then you're going to right click and we're going to go hide selection. Okay, then we're going to try and select our helicopter. So in this left view, I find this to be the easiest. So just zoom out a little bit. You can see our camera here and this is the helicopter, of course. And with your selection tool, just drag a box around your helicopter. Make sure that you're not selecting anything else like the camera. And um, then we're just going to group it for now. So right here at the top, click on group and then group again. And let's just type in helicopter and press OK. All right, so our helicopter has been grouped. So now I can just click anywhere and that will select the entire helicopter. Cool, so now in the top view, let's just zoom out here a little bit. You can select your move tool and you can move it around and you can see in the bottom section that it's actually moving around in your scene. And because it's on the floor, like you can see in the left uh, view here, it's actually sitting right on our floor. It's not really perfect, so we can actually move it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna move it up in this view just to get it kind of on this line because that's the floor that we aligned it on. And then I want to rotate it so it's not just pointing that way. So I want to maybe look at it from the side through the camera. So with our rotation tool, I'm just going to rotate it around like so. 
maybe something like that and then grab the move tool again and just move it slightly over maybe this way and i think that's looking pretty cool um, let's do a quick frame test render so click on rendering and then render Okay, so there you go. You can see obviously the lighting and all of those things are not done yet. So we'll do that in the next video. Just look at the materials. Make sure that you've got all the materials. If we zoom in here a little bit, you'll see the text here on the helicopter and also this little arrow here at the back and also the colors here in the front. So just make sure that you've got all those materials loaded. Let's save our files. So I'm actually gonna go file save as to save a new version. So click this button here at the top and then click on save as. And then I'm just gonna call it final project and I'm just gonna put a underscore and a number two. So we've got version two and then click on save. Okay, so that's it for importing your model into 3ds Max and into your scene and also positioning it and also making sure that your materials are linking. And also remember to check out video4.com and buy a sweet t-shirt. Right, I'll see you guys in the next video.